So happy to be here. Come Thank on. you for welcoming us into your home. Really? My name is Ian Witherspoon, and I am. You don't say, really? Between Terminas. No way, really? Shut Will you hang that up? <laughs> You don't say. Okay. All right. Just get. Just get my. Just get everything going. All right. Bye. Are we disturbing you? Yeah. You know I'm we're doing a live agent. television. Wait. Show? Wait. Wait. Is your agent named Bob Bridges? You say your no. agent? I got to be re-educated. You were there talking we to your agent yes. on your flip phone. Yes. He, my well, flip phone. your fax line tied up? Hey, huh? at least I have a flip phone. You don't, I have, you guys hockey have Hockey season's coming up. Well, you know, I'm sorry yeah, for Yeah, speaking of hockey season, ladies and gentlemen, I want to show this nice, beautiful Colorado Avalanche mask. We're celebrating hockey season, so, <sighs> and for Red Wing fans, boo, you guys are mean. For Dallas Stars fans, whatever. And so, go, go and support the Colorado Avalanche. Great hockey team. I love it. There's our cheap promo for the week. Uh -huh. did, did, we, your... did we rename the show? No. Anthony's Corner? Sure. Hey! He's I do on have... the phone promoting yep. face masks. I, don't know. I, do have, I do have history now. Yeah, so yes. stick your, to your monologues there. We're here to talk sports. You like my hair? My hair's long, long and pretty. Discussion. You like my hair? My hair's long and pretty. It's getting there. My hair is long and pretty. It's, it's getting there. It's pretty. I don't know how long it is. It's pretty. Let it, let it keep growing. I want to talk great. Rutgers, Michigan. I want to talk Michigan State. This you want to dive great. into college football first? This is, yeah. This is, it, they're a legit football team. Who? Michigan set, State. Set this up. Talk Michigan to the camera. State is talk right to now. Folks. They're sitting at. They're sitting real pretty at five and zero. Oh. Talking about football. Um, you got a and running back. Michigan also five and zero. Oh? Uh, we'll that, that's a daycare center. Um, so, but Kenneth Walker's the real deal. Peyton Dorn's playing better. They have some great receivers. Jalen Reed. You got um. You got Trey Mosley, West Bloomfield product. Um, yes, West Bloomfield product. And then you have, um, you know, there, and you got Speedy Naylor. So basically, uh, as long as Michigan State's offensive line stays healthy, good football team, and they have a good defense. So, mm -hmm. and Mel Tucker's got a lot out of them. When you say good defense, good front seven. Mm hmm. Secondary still. Well, you got Henderson there in the backfield, you know, in the secondary. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? He's mm -hmm. not bad. I mean, the Not problem bad. was, the problem in that game of Western Kentucky was, you know, Western Kentucky, we know they're very good offensively. True. Very good offensively. True. Still, their defense gave up tons of points. 31 points. A lot of yards, a lot of points. Bad no break defense, you know what I mean? But Mel Tucker's creating identity over there at Michigan State. As long as he, as long as he just, you know, keeps the helmet green. It, it wore and, white last weekend. Yeah, you are, aware, of, you are aware that you've gotten rubbed in quite a bit from a certain uh, Michigan fan and certain Michigan fans. Yeah, they're going to lose this weekend, so don't worry about it. I mean, like, so when you look at Michigan, so when you look at Michigan State, they're going to be okay. I, I've, I've said this team will win nine games. Nine. I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm halfway there, you know what I mean? More than Didn't halfway there. Didn't you say Michigan was going to lose to Wisconsin and they manhandled Wisconsin? No comments. Yeah, you did. No comments. <laughs> No so we'll get to Michigan, but to wrap up state, they play Rutgers. Yeah, and then beat Rutgers. things get moving a little bit. You got Indiana. Indiana, I think they can beat Indiana. You got a bye week. You got I Michigan. Think, I think they'll be seven and zero heading in the bye. I think you beat Indiana. I don't. It's at their defense. place, right? I, it's in Bloomington. Yeah, but I don't trust Indiana's defense at all. Okay. I don't. Tr I think they'll be seven and zero heading in that Michigan game. There's no concerns of the offensive line, on uh, Michigan State. Not real much concerns. I mean, like I think that if they're, as long as they're healthy, this is you know they as long as they're healthy, I think they're going to be fine going forward. You know, you got Walker there, you got Speed Naylor, you got um, you got Reed, you got Mosley, you know, as and you got Connor Hayward at tight end. I mean, like they've got it made right now. They go seven and zero, hanging in the bye, hanging that Michigan game. Good things are going forward. Can we celebrate that Notre Dame loss to um, Cincinnati? Yeah, I was really happy about that. I was that. really happy about that, too. What's well, Cincinnati ranked at now? Five? Seven. Yeah, I seven? think they're five. I think they were, they were seven against 
They beat Notre right. Dame. Notre Dame got rightfully what they deserved. I agree with you. They got oh. rightfully what they deserved. My agent's calling. Hang on. <laughs> Did they? What a loser. I mean, <laughs> what a loser. I mean, Chris Bell got exactly what he deserved. With For Notre those Dame. of you guys who don't know who Chris Bell is, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Bell is the Lake Orion High School athletic director and former football coach who happens to be a big time Notre Dame football fan. Okay, he continue. got what he rightfully deserved, losing to Luke Fickle in Cincinnati. I'm telling you right now, that guy deserved losing to Cincinnati. That's the guy who deserved to lose to Cincinnati. I agree with you. Mm-hmm. I agree with you. So, we don't like to talk. Name is overrated. We don't need to talk about stuff from Indiana. I know your favorite team, Fort Wayne. How about Michigan? And you got a Michigan team. They're in trouble. They got a big weekend. Night game out in uh, Lincoln. Nebraska. Lincoln? Mm-hmm. Good test for Michigan, definitely. That's for sure. Do you have a uh, prediction? I think Michigan wins. Do you think they win big, easily, I think Michigan handily? wins. I think the way Michigan played against Wisconsin, they're going to have no problem with, with Nebraska. No. You disagree? I disagree. I think Nebraska is going to beat Michigan. I mean, here's why. First of all, Nebraska going to come out with Alan Parsons, Cyrus. You know they're going to touch. The, they're going to touch the horseshoe, and they're going to go out there and just expose McNamara for who he is. Uh, Michigan just does not. They just, Michigan had a great game against Wisconsin. But Nebraska runs the option. You know what I mean? Yes. Michigan State had trouble with Nebraska's offense. They needed and a their punt defense. return, and their defense. They needed a touchdown uh, on a punt return to beat them. I mean, like so. Basically, when you look at this game here, I, I just think that going on the road to Lincoln, Lincoln is not an easy place to play. And I just think at the end of the day, Nebraska is going to go in there and beat Michigan. You don't think we see uh, McCarthy a little bit? I think McCarthy's going to get some time in there, but I think he's going to get stopped by um, Go Big Reds defense. You think I think they... Nebraska, you know, look at Nebraska. They played Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. You know, they played them tough. You know, they played Michigan State tough. I mean, like... That was a miracle win for State. Mir- well, yes. But um, but Nebraska's better than what the record indicates. So Well, Nebraska did play Oklahoma tough. Yes, they did. You know, so I think when you look at this game here, when you look at the Big Ten West, obviously, Iowa's there. Um, but I love what I, they, I love their halftime. I think... Or the, and the first quarter when they wave to the Children's Hospital. So let's wave. Hello. Kay. Hello, yep. Kinnick. Mm-hmm. I love that. That's that's one of the greatest traditions. It's sports. very nice. Uh, it's a very, very great, great tradition. tradition. Mm-hmm. I love that tradition. Um, but I'm telling you, I think that Iowa right now is the best team in the Big Ten um, West right now. The Big Ten East is a mess because you got Ohio, you got Penn State, Ohio State, Ohio Michigan, State's Michigan struggling, State, you know, a little bit. State, even though they got a route last week. Yeah, they, uh, there's some kinks in the armor with Ohio State. I mean, obviously, but Penn State right now. I'm curious how Penn State is going to do in the next few weeks. I think they got Ohio State coming up. They still got to play Michigan. Don't they play, they play Iowa State. this weekend? I, yeah, like Iowa this weekend. That's, I think it's Aren't they dealing with their coach potentially going to USC? I just don't Franklin? see Jane Franklin leaving to go to USC. There's a lot of rumors out there. I know there's a lot of rumors out there, but I just don't see Jane Franklin leaving to go to USC. Penn State's really hmm. – it's, de- it's a dream job, destination job. I mean – it I should be you take over for a, you, you you take over for you take over for arguably one of the best coaches of all time. Pete Carroll's no longer there anyway. I'm not I'm talking Paterno. about Penn State. Oh, I'm not himself. talking about I'm not oh, talking yeah. about USC. I'm talking about Penn oh, State. Oh, Penn State. Take over for Joe Paterno. Yeah. Yes. Well, he had he had Bill O'Brien despite over there too. The whole, despite the whole we situation. We had Bill O'Brien <laughs> over there Brian. too, you know. He's been nice. Forgot job about there. him. He's a nice job over there. Yeah, not so much news. He brought the names points back. No. Then they got rid of him again. So, do you think Michigan's being built to beat Ohio State? No. You don't think so? No. What about Ian? What do you think? I, I don't see them beating Ohio State. No. Never. No. no. My lifetime Any again. final thoughts? <sighs> it's a big weekend. Big weekend, Some yes. big games. So, let's celebrate Cincinnati being Notre Dame. And Michigan State, you know what I mean? I, one surpri- don't be surprised if they're 7-0 and heading into the bye week. I would not be surprised. Uh, we'll I think see. Indiana's a bit of a test. I think they can beat Indiana. Uh, you think Sparty can get the platoon back? They got to get that thing back. They got to get the platoon back. All Let's right, see. we'll be right back with Between Terraminas here on ONTV. 
ONTV encourages you to go back to school and attend our 10-week video production workshop. Classes meet on Monday nights from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and offer instruction on studio production, field production, and nonlinear editing. The cost is $55 per person, and upon completion of the class, you get access to ONTV's facilities and equipment to produce your own program or short film. For more information, give ONTV a call at 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org today. Welcome back to Between Terminus here on ONTV. How are we doing, Ian? Yeah. Yeah. Sammy, how are you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk. So wait, we have breaking news. Sammy, do you want to confirm this? What is it? Uh, fantasy football. Oh, yeah. You're on four. You watch it. I blew you out this last week. 170 to uh, 117. Hey, Goodbye. <laughs> no, you can't say anything. I'm ashamed to so have lost to a team name called the Pink Panther. <laughs> Charlie Sheen is the Pink Cat. My avatar is not Charlie Sheen. It's Papa John. Papa John fears Pink Cat. Papa John fears no mortal. He fears the Pink Cat. I'm 0-4. Yes, you I'm are. I'm like my Lions. I'm 2-2. Two okay? two. I'm down, but I'm not out. You're okay. down. Yeah, they're done for. Uh, Ian's done for. I agree with You're that. done for. The Lions are it's done a long for. long season, my friend. You're yeah, done remember, for. The yeah, Lions are done for. Remember when I beat you on the ONTV fantasy football thing? No. I don't recall <laughs> you that. You do. Yeah, it's you by do. one You're point. You're done for. Who won the Lions are done year. for. The Pat, I mean, like, Green Bay's going to win the NFC North. It's already over. And the Bears named Justin Fields a starting quarterback, and he had a field day against the Hello Kitties. Is that a pun? Field day? Yeah, he had a field day against the Hello Kitties. A field day? Yes. Against the Hello Kitties. Because his name is They're Fields. in trouble. They're a daycare center, and you know it. Well, the Lions are certainly in trouble. Yes, they are. I don't even... Dan Campbell can't coach that team. Okay. Jared Goff cannot. Jared Goff is struggling. You yes. look at that. You look at that they team. They should never got rid the, of that The best Stafford. players on their two teams is DeAndre Swift. <laughs> And TJ Hawkinson. Those are their two best players. They don't have a defense. Their defense is like you can throw on them, you can run on them, and like they're like a, um you can even put like a, um you can even put like a, um, a pony in there and, they, and, and that pony is throwing for touchdowns against the Lions. Do we need to bring back the paper bag? No, because we knew they'd be bad. But do we think they are going to be the first team to ever go? Oh, and 17. You bet I think they're going to go 17. You don't think they're going to win a game? No, and I told this to Chris Bell on numerous occasions that the Lions aren't going to win a game. Because you look at I that team. I already explained who Coach Bell is, ladies you and look gentlemen. At, you look at that Lions team. Now I'm looking at it. They are horrible. True. Horrendous. True. They are a, they're terrible. And I'm telling you right now, when you look at this team, they have nothing besides Swift and Hawkinson that impresses you. Other than that, they don't have any de – their defense is awful. It's I mean, bad. There you go. Some mysterious guy said 0-17. That I agree with that guy who's going 0-17. So we got that's two ghost, votes, isn't it? Two votes for 0-17, huh? Yep. Uh, looks like we have we have a ghost that's projecting 0-17. We have Sammy projecting 0-17. I actually think the Lions could win a game. You think they got a game this year? They could win a game. Any hope against the Vikings this weekend? No. Oh, of course not. The Lions will lose that. Uh, Matt Kirk Cousins, you have Dalvin Cook, you have... Um, I'm so tired of losing to Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is a good... Hey, remember, he's a Spartan. I don't care. He's a Spartan. I he's also care. a Michigander, too. He's a Michigander. I don't care. Michigan. What he's done, too, what he's done, especially, he's part of the team that beat a corporate M four years straight, and especially it made Bob Bridges look so happy. For the record, for fans who need to know who Bob Bridges is, he is the current Lake Wayne girls basketball coach. Also a big-time adversary of Sammy. Big time. Do you associate with any non-coaches? I'm a good person. You just, you know. But they, they, all have, they all have grudges against me. Rightfully so. Being rightfully so. Rightfully so. Being rightfully so. But You're a loudmouth. But the Lions are a daycare center. If I would put any, I would even put the Lions against the 
against a um against against uh, I can't say it on air, but they would they would probably they would they would just run oh, through boy. they they run through the lines and that's how and they would they would even beat the lines. That's how that's how common I am. Okay, all right. Let's so go to who another been team. most impressive with. Wait a minute, I got one more question. Okay, go ahead. There's the Lions, and there's the Jacksonville Jaguars. Oh boy, Urban Meyer, what he's done is who would win a game between those two teams? Jacksonville, easily. Actually, I'd say Lions. Jacksonville. I'd say Lions. Beat one team I think actually likes their coach, the Lions. <laughs> there's another team, maybe not so fond of their coach right now. Because you got Trevor Lawrence there. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, he's a rookie. You got Jamal Agnew. Jamal Agnew. I mean, battled tough the Arizona Cardinals, but I just think the that Lions battled the Ravens tough. I think the Lions. They did. Yeah, not been for a 56 yard field goal, and I was rooting hard for it the Ravens. It was not 56. Baltimore's my team. It was 66. 66. Baltimore's my team, and you know that. That is true. I'm not denying that at all. You have rooting for the Ravens for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. I don't like this shtick you got, man. This I whole have, out of town team. I, have, deal. I think there's nothing wrong with it. He, he roots for the Stars. I root for the Avalanche. Yeah, it's there's nothing wrong disgusting. with that. I root for the Ravens. Ravens are my football team. He roots for the Ravens. There's nothing wrong with that, Ian. Quote you need, you need, more. Ian. You need to see the light when it comes to sports teams. Jeez, you don't need to root for the hometown team. You don't need to be such a homer. I'm a homer because this is my home. You know what, I, I, what do I have to do with Baltimore or Dallas? You don't You've never been with a thousand miles of Dallas, man. Come they, on! They treated me with kindness and respect. Hey, that's what it's what hey, How many Dallas cups did they want you? Sammy. One. Just yeah. like the Avalanche. Twenty-two like years me. ago. They're gonna win a Stanley Cup this year. You just watch. I don't know about that. I don't agree there. <sighs> We're talking about football right now, okay? Hockey's next week. The Lions are not going to win another game. Not they haven't won one the yet. They got the Bengals in two weeks. Who the who days? They're gonna. They're going to meet Joe Burrow. They're going to meet Chase Clark. They're going to meet Matthew Stafford. Yeah, they're going to still, still got to play Matthew Stafford. Oh, that'll be play. interesting. They still got to play. I think they got to play Russell Wilson. Mm-hmm. Um, they got to play the West. Oh, they got to play the West. Kyler yeah. Murray. They got to play Kyler Murray. Uh, oh, yeah, boy. It's going to be a long year. It's going to be a long year. For I the think they get a game. I think they get a couple so of games. So you agree with me? I think it's going to be. Zero. I agree with you. I, I think it's zero. They almost beat the Cardinals last year. They almost beat them the year before that when they tied them. <laughs> they almost beat the Ravens. They should have beat the Bears. I mean, come on. There was nothing special that the Bears did in that the game. The Lions last don't have any talent right now. Which is they don't. true. They don't have any talent. I think their coaching staff has some talent. Don't you think it's a good, young, fresh coaching staff? How about oh. your team, the New Orleans Saints, Ian? How are they doing? Not so good. They're not my team. You're I'm still Lions. Uh, I don't know about team. that. I think they're Saints are your team. My second team. My team doesn't lose to the New York Giants, okay? And that's what the Saints did last weekend. That was tough. But tomorrow night we got the Rams. I believe they travel to Seattle. You think Matthew Stafford and the Rams get back on track? Or yes. They do. For you the think? sake of my fantasy team, I hope not, but we'll see. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good game. One yeah. of the real good... Thursday games, huh? Pick a game. I just think the Rams will take it too much to Stafford. How about the West in general? NFC West and the Arizona, AFC West. Arizona, Arizona, solid. Um, they're four and zero. Four and zero. Yep. I they're mean, LA will, be, LA will be interesting. <clears throat> um, when I look at the NFC, West, the AFC West, obviously you got to look at the Chargers. They I mean, are. They good. look really good, and they just beat the Chiefs. So. And they beat the Raiders. And they beat the Raiders. So mm-hmm. basically, it's the class of the. West right now. L.A. Any final yeah. thoughts? This might be the Cardinals' year to win that division. I think it may. I, th- I think it's the Cardinals' year. So you, you both do? agree on something? Yeah. You don't think it's the Rams? No, I think it'd be. God, Cardinals. that'd be great. I'm sorry, Joe Johnson, but man, if Stafford goes out there and still doesn't win the division, I think the Rams division, are a playoff team, though. I think the Rams are a playoff team, though. Probably. Yeah, they're they pretty are. darn good. All right, they're we'll be right back between Terminus on O N T V. Have you ever thought of producing your own podcast? ONTV offers the facilities, equipment, and training to help you get your own podcast off the ground. Learn how to record your show and get it out to the world. Cost is $25 per person 
which gives you access to ONTV's podcast room and equipment. For more information, give ONTV a call at 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org today. Welcome back to Between Terminus here on ONTV. Gentlemen, how are we doing? Slightly worse than Slightly when you last asked. Slightly worse yes. <laughs> oh, okay. So both of you guys, both of you guys are, both of you guys are just are are doing a heck of a, are doing a, they're not doing as well as I am. Nothing mm. on the order. No okay. one can be doing no as well as you. Do okay, so well. one team that you probably will both be optimistic about is Ian's favorite Motor City Kitties, who is technically responsible for losing the World Series. Remember, he dressed as a cat, man. Since when does dressing up as a team mascot cause your team to lose? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's Brad Osmus who's responsible for that. That was not Leland. Him. That was Leland in 2012. That's when they got swept by the Giants. I said not you. I said it's Brad Osmus. He was responsible. in Arizona. I don't even know where he was. Uh -huh. He was not in Detroit. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I, I still blame Ian Weatherspoon for that. But anyway, the future is bright for the Tigers. Thoughts? Well, they got a big off season. This yeah. is the, one of the bigger off seasons mm -hmm. in the last seven years, eight years. They need a Pudge Maguire or Donis type signing, you know. And I an old washed up guy. Maguire worked out really well for the They Tigers. both worked out. They both, both worked, worked out. But they were both a gamble. And it paid off. They were both a gamble. I, I they do need to take a swing. Uh, they there's a shortstop out there. Who is it? Correa. Yeah, Carlos Correa. Your thoughts? If they can get him in there, you know what I mean, then so be it. I believe he turned down a deal from Houston. Mm -hmm. What if, if must see JV returns home? I'm not thrilled. I about could that. see JV turning home too. I could see that. I mean, I could see both JV and Correa coming to Detroit if that happens. Um, <sighs> Correa if, scares me. Why? It's a too big of a deal you're giving that guy. I think Correa would fit really well. Do you that. think oh, the Lions just go younger prospects? Tigers? I don't know about that. No. Do you think Tigers? they got enough depth in the prospect system? They rebuilt the farm system. Um, basically, when you look at the AL Central, obviously Chicago is still going to be there. Um, Chicago's the class. I think Chicago's the class. The um, Royals are coming. Kansas City's coming up. They got some teams. Cleveland. What about the know. Twinkies? Minnesota, yeah. okay. Um, but Cleveland, Cleveland, I worry about with them. They're and toast. Then and then, so I look at Detroit right now, maybe next year, possibly the third best team in the AL Central right now, behind Kansas City and Chicago. Off-season needs, what do you rank higher? Okay, they need a shortstop, shortstop. or they need a top-end, number two, number one type starter. I What's think, more important to I, nail? I think the short. I think if you can address shortstop, you think get a solid. You can get a solid return. Top of the lineup. Top, top of the lineup guy, and then. You look at obviously the top end starting pitcher. Obviously, if you can get like a face that would, that and I don't know if there's a lot of faces right now in free agency that you can look at. Uh, the pitching is not as deep. It's not as deep as what's available at shortstop. So I think Correa makes a lot of sense for, for Detroit, but I just think mm. that um, could there be a young shortstop? Could there it's be a young, a young short shortstop? Well, the Tigers know. have a guy. They got a guy. He made a Triple A. He's pretty good, mm -hmm. but. It's a position you can't keep affording to boot, no. punt, you mm -hmm. know? Right. I think the most important thing, okay, A.J. Hinch signed a three-year deal, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Just finished year one. I'd try to do whatever I could to get him five more years, mm -hmm. four more years. Extend the manager. Yeah. Uh, you got it. You got it. If you want to make, make a splash. Third manager. In you want to make a splash, you got to go get yourself some players. They do. But I think players need to see, because they know, okay, the manager's here for two more years maybe. They need to see some stability, I think. I think they can lock up A.J. for another few more years in addition to the two, two he's years. got. Well, he's got to produce. He's got to produce. I would say he has. you got to produce results. 75 wins mm -hmm. from a team that was pretty bad. Improvement, with especially that first month. No oh, 76 pitching. 76 at the top. 76. 76. Think about their pitching staff. Who they had Willie Peralta, who was the most consistent guy that could go. Mm -hmm. Scubel, Mize, they got pulled after three innings a lot of the time. Well, because mm -hmm. they're on pitch counts. Right. And he balanced that all 
pretty darn well. The Soto's bullpen are was not now. terrible. Soto's are closer now, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm encouraged. I think they need to build on this year. I think and watch out for AJ Chicago and Kansas City. There. So, all right, let's get into the playoffs real quick. The Red Sox move on. Okay, you got Dodgers and Cardinals tonight. Dodgers Who do you like? Win. Dodgers will win that one. You think the Dodgers got yep. it? I think it's going to be... Do you think the Giants have the ability to go to the final or to the World Series from the West? Yes. You think it's them? They got a shot. I think it's Los Angeles. I think, I think it's, it's Los LA. Angeles, They're going to yeah. beat San Fran? Yeah, I do. That's going to be good. Dodgers-Giants, one of the best rivalries in the major leagues. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But what about the American League? You think it's Tampa still? Tampa's still the class. You think Tony La Russa? No. Southsiders have Tampa any? Tampa still. No. Tampa. No? Tampa. So, just Tampa. Just Tampa. Tampa. Who's the NL West team? Why am I blanking? Or AL West? Uh, your team Houston, Houston, hello. Houston. Yeah, no. Houston. No. Tampa, Houston. L.A.? Tampa, you L.A. Got, you got Tampa, San Fran? I have Tampa, L.A. Uh, Tampa, got Tampa, oh, San San you got Fran. Tampa, yep. San Fran. Tampa, San Fran. Yep. Ultimate winner? Um, Tampa. Well, L.A. You think L.A.? Yeah. Dodgers get it done again? Yep, I do. Okay. Well, right, we'll so keep track on it. Out. You got to call right. somebody out tonight? I got two people to call out. You're going to yell at two people tonight? I don't know about yell. We'll see. Okay, so I got two call outs this week. Um, my first call out involves every high school of a game I go to. I'm, usually I have a good relationship with the officials. Oh. And um, it just it, it feels like when I go to games, it feels like the officiating seems to have an axe to gripe with Lake Orion. Why is that? It's simple. I just don't seem to understand why. And I feel like, you know, any call that goes against Lake Orion, I feel like it's an axe to grind with Sam and myself. Is it because we have so many people on the sidelines? Is it because of me and Sam? Is it because of, you know, and he's like, come on. It's like, it's ridiculous. All you know, the I'm, not being, I'm not being mean. I mean, I like the guys and they really, and, and we do need, and we do have some really good officials. It's just that, you know, I just want to understand what's going on. Then my second call out is, um, well, I'll wait for that for another time. All right, Sammy, Ooh. go ahead. All right, so... Man, I don't have a call tonight. What? I don't have a call tonight. I do. And let me call him out. No. Okay. But I will probably have to say I get a lot of hate mail. You know what I mean? I've gotten a lot of hate mail on my no. podcast. <laughs> yes, I have. No. I have. So... That doesn't surprise me at all. You want to look at fact. I mean, like, look at facts. Obviously, in I mean, obviously, you know, when you look at obviously, you know, for my podcast and all that. I mean, like, I've had to call out. Um, but you look at teams that are really your six. I mean, like, there's teams that are undefeated, playing well. I mean, but, but you haven't really impressed me. I mean, like, come on. If you want to prove something to me, you want to prove something to me. Play somebody. Play somebody legit. I know you got the schedule. Obviously, you know what I mean. It's, you're given the schedule you're given. But when you get to the postseason, then you run into a a better team, better schedule. You know what I mean? So basically, basically, I'm calling out those teams who play not strong schedules to name play them. tougher teams. I'm no, not going to name gonna them name on them. air. Uh, I'm not going to name them on air, but they, they know, know who, they who I'm talking about. You know who they are. So that is what is. All right. That will do it for this episode of Between Two Wait, I was going to call somebody out. All right, bye. I'd like to call out Anthony for constantly hijacking the show. Hey, thanks, everyone. Have a good evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the outside. That's the outside.